So this is uh, the first fun painting idea I got for you today. I'm just going to put down um, some ink. I got three different colors. Um, this is a, uh, a fun one to do because it's basically foolproof. You will always end up with something fun and interesting. And it's really good for those days where nothing is going right. Um, you will you do one of these and you'll instantly feel better. So I'm just going to add some alcohol onto my ink and just dry it real quick just into one sort of big blob of ink. Um, if you feel like you need a bit more of one color, just add it, a little more alcohol, and dry that. So once you've sort of made this big blob, we're going to start dripping ink on top of it to make these circles. Now, the more drops of ink you do, the bigger the circle. So I'm just using the same colors as I put down in the beginning. And I'm just going to start working my way around this piece, making these circles um, with drops of ink. I'm going to make, make different sizes, make some small and make some big, because that is what really makes it interesting. And, and it's going to give it a lot of depth. Um, if you want to use different colors than you did at first, you can do that. You can add more colors on top of each other. It, like I said, it, it's it's foolproof, fail-proof, really. It, it's just going to end up interesting in some way. You can use any color you want. You can take up as much space on the paper as you want. Now, you can also use your alcohol to make little circles. Also, put them on the edge of uh, some inks. You get these sort of really cool half circles. Now, I'm going to finish this off by putting a little alcohol on a brush and um, making tiny, tiny little dots. It just adds a little bit of extra fun. Do as many as you want, as little as you want. Like you can do so many things with this kind of technique and it just ends up so much fun and interesting. Now, I'm just gonna do a few last drops and then I'm uh, going to pop a little uh, mat on this so that you can see, look at that. Now, isn't that interesting? There are so many possibilities with this technique and it is so much fun. I hope you feel like you wanna try this. Um, I'm just gonna show you another piece that I did. I might have overdone it a little bit um, on this one. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, but it's still so much fun. Endless possibilities, any colors you want. I, I hope you, you'll try this. Definitely a fun technique. So um, we're going to move on to the second one and I'm going to just put down some ink again like I did before. I'm going to use two colors on this one and I'm going to put them down um, slightly diagonal and just dry it. Not trying to make this look pretty or anything. Um, hopefully later you'll think it's a little pretty. Now, once I've put down these colors diagonal, I'm just going to start adding a little bit of alcohol on the edge of the ink. And I'm going to blow it in towards the middle because this will just um, give you that wispy look. It will uh, soften the edges a little bit. And um, I do that a lot, the wispy look, the fades. It just, it gives it something different. And once you start doing this, you also will get some some cool lines when, when the ink sort of dries on top of each other. You can again make this as wispy as you want. There's really no right or wrong. Um, and just choose any colors you want. Yeah, I'm just gonna clean that little mess up I made there. So now we're gonna do a little bit of drawing on this. I'm using a Posca pen or marker. I don't really know if it's a pen or a marker. I'm using a black and I'm going to make these um, these cute little flowers. I'm going to make, I think, three of these. And as you can see here on the first one, I'm drawing this both on top of the ink and just outside the ink because that gives it sort of an extra dimension, if you will. It adds to the depth of the painting um, compared to if you drew this on the ink and nothing outside. This just gives it a little extra something. I'm just making all these lines, um, working sort of on both sides. 
and I'm just going to keep doing this until it has the size that I want. Now you can use sort of basically any pen or marker you want for this. Um, the, the Posca pen that I'm using, it's actually a little thick. I wanted to use a thinner one, but it was empty. So I used a really thick one, but I think it still turned out pretty cool. Now, when you sort of place these flowers, make sure that they have sort of different um, heights. Can you call that heights? I'm Danish. English is not my, my first language. Um, but just so they're not all like in a straight line right next to each other. You can use any color marker or, or pen that you want, really. For this piece, you could have used um, a silver or a gold. Would have looked really cool. Um, so any color you want, really. You can just match it to your ink, um, see what you sort of like the most. Um, I think silver would have been cool on this one too, but any color you want. And these flowers make them any shape you want. If you do three or four, try to make them different sizes so they're not all exactly the same. This is uh, this piece is sort of, um, it's simple, it's a little minimalistic. You can do as many flowers as you want. Um, I think depending on the size of your flowers. These are a little bit large, so I'm only going to do three. If you do um, smaller flowers, you can do more, but try not to do 10 on the same piece if you want it to be a little bit minimalistic and simple, um, because, you know, 10 flowers would just make it look um, a bit busy, really. I'm just going to do three on this one, I think, and this one, the last one, is going to be a little bit smaller. You could also add um, a few leaves um, if you wanted. I'm not going to do that on this one, but, well, sky's the limit, really. So, I think this last flower is almost done, and I'm actually quite happy with this. I feel like it looks a little, little elegant. I'm going to call it, and I'm going to put a little mat on this, a white one. I think this works pretty well. I think a black one would look really cool, too. So we're just going to try that. What do you think? I like both. What do you prefer, the black or the white? I think the black. I'm not sure. Anyway, this was the second one. I'm just going to show you a different piece I did. I just used a, a dark gray and some gold, and the flowers are a bit smaller. I like this so much. I hope you enjoyed this video and these uh, fun painting ideas. Don't forget to subscribe. And um, that's it for this time. I'm going to leave you with um, a few other ideas for some of my videos if you would like to watch them. Thank you.